Hey guys and welcome to the lowest recoil build for the HK416. This is going to be based off the HK that you get from Peacekeeper at tier 3 for $880. So to start off you need to head over to tier 4 and grab yourself the HKE1 butt stock. After you got this you need to head over to Skier, go to tier 4 and grab yourself the RK24 grip. After you got this then you're going to have to head over to Mechanic. Go to tier 2, grab yourself the MBUS rear sight and front sight. Then tier 3, grab yourself the Raptor charge handle, the 6 inch Strike Industries key mod. You also need to grab yourself the Wave muzzle brake, so you need to make sure it's the 556 variant and not the 762. I just did. There you go. Now you need to scroll down and grab yourself the HK key mod. Now over to tier 4, you're going to need to grab yourself the 20 inch barrel for the HK. As well as the Ergo PSG-1 style foregrip, uh, pistol grip. Now this is everything you need, personally for sights I like to use the EXPS, I like the 3% inaccuracy, but because it is the lowest recoil build, if you head over to Prapper tier 2, you can grab yourself the EKP-8 that has minus 1% in recoil but it does also have minus 6 in ergonomics, so that is 100% your shout. Now let's put everything together. Okay, so this is the lowest recoil build for the HK 416A5. So we're inside the hideout. I absolutely love when the lowest recoil builds have silencers on them. It just makes it feel a lot more, you know, more pleasing to use. I love silence guns myself personally. So having such a low recoil build is perfect. So, sitting at pretty juicy low recoil, I'm not actually going to shoot him in the balls this time, I'm just going to shoot him in the chest. I'm standing. So, like with every Tarkov gun, you do have the initial kick, which it was. You kind of saw it go up, down, drew a line, and then kind of settled in the stomach right there, which is an interesting recoil pattern. Now, let's go from crouch from distance. I am going to shoot him in the nuts this time. And once again, the initial kick kicks it up one, two, and then up above the little clump here, up here, and then back down to the clump. So we are only shooting 30 rounders, so 60 rounders, it would start to get comfy down in the chest area where, you know, the recoil becomes a lot more stable. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this gun is going to bring you some beautiful juice. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend running the Cobra sight. It's just the lowest recoil build. And there's, you know, people that isn't got the Cobra site on, it isn't the last recall build. So guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.